Summer Jeff Fest 2022 was eh. That's that's what it was. Just one collective group of people saying eh. It's like you go on this first date you've been hyping up for the past five months, and now that it's over, you're like, eh. <laughs> it seems Sony and Nintendo missed the memo, with the former announcing a state of play for third-party games, and the latter saying fuck you. Miyamoto is busy opening another theme park in Hollywood. To begin the event, Capcom showed off the highly rumored Resident Evil 4 remake, Street Fighter 6, and a VR update for Resident Evil 8. Huh? That was that was Sony's state of play? Oh shit, right, okay. Uh, Sony decided to show off Capcom's game for some reason. Street Fighter 6 looks to mix the old with the new. Chun Li and Ryu look absolutely amazing. And then you have this next generation of cocky fighters, Luke and Jamie. These character models are some of the best yet, and the style is so funky and unique. Plus, one of the guys, Luke, I think, makes fun of Ryu. He's just he's just there like Hadouki! Hadouki! <laughs> Then we have arguably the best Resident Evil game making a return. I remember shitting myself playing this as a kid, so I can't wait to shit myself again playing this as an adult. There isn't really much to say here, but if you're on the fence about buying it, trust me, it's it's worth it, as, as long as they let you move while aiming this time. Speaking of shitting myself, Callisto Protocol looks absolutely incredible. Glenn Schofield is channeling all of his experience in the Dead Space games and cranking up the morbidity to max level, instead of jamming a needle in Isaac's eye. <laughs> The protagonist of this game gets mauled in so many other, uh, creative ways? The cat game is coming to Game Pass, but not PC Game Pass, the other Game Pass. PlayStation made a Game Pass. Final Fantasy 16 showed off actual gameplay, and they had this real badass segment where it showed off all the summons, and this choir in the background was like, Phoenix! Garuda! <laughs> then we had Sonic Frontiers, and I'm gonna spend some time on this, but before I do that, I have a question. Which of these looks like a fan-made game, and which one looks like the game made by Sonic Team? Seriously, they're over it. <laughs> they're done. This means that we have our hands full and won't be able to meet our original release window. Depressing, isn't it? There are signs of new ideas, especially with the combat and puzzle elements, but as much as I'd love for Sonic Frontiers to completely wipe the floor with all previous 3D Sonic games, it does look like a lot of work needs to be done, even if the footage shown was of an early build. Because right now, the marketing for this game just looks like a really bad Unreal Engine tech demo. They're calling this an open zone game instead of an open world game, so we'll see what that means soon enough because this game is still scheduled for winter 2022. There were a few other sci-fi themed games, a few anime anime theme games, one sci-fi anime theme game, Modern Warfare 2, skip, Marvel's Midnight Suns, skip, Cuphead! Honestly, this game will probably fall into another long list of how you should be doing DLC. Studio MDHR put their blood, sweat, and tears into this expansion, not conforming to a release window and prioritizing their workforce, meaning we had to wait five whole years for this game. It looks like it's about to pay off big time. Speaking of long five-year waits, do I need to say anything else? It's fucking Silk Song. If you don't buy this game, shame on you. Last of Us is getting a remake after it was remastered less than a decade ago, so yeah. Once again, the best part about the Xbox showcase was the fact that all the games seen would be available on Game Pass day one. Redfall looked like another basic co-op shooter, Minecraft had another Minecraft spin-off game, Morty heard my very poor impression of him and decided to make another game called High on Life. Chat saw Diablo 4 and thought it looked like shit until the title revealed itself to be Diablo 4. Plague Tale Requiem has more rats than ever. The Samurai game said, Monkey King Boo Kong? Nah, woo long. Persona 3 and 4 are on Xbox so I can finally play them, and Persona 5 made it to Xbox before the Switch. And Joker is supposed to be a character in Smash. Kojima came out and said Death Stranding isn't on Xbox, but I'm making a new game called Meth Branding. And instead of delivering packages, you deliver meth. Capcom pretended like you didn't see the state of play and showed off the same games again, along with an update for Exo Primal, which looks fun for the first two weeks maybe, but I do like the dinosaurs. They dropped the demo for Sunbreak so I could get my ass handed to me by teleporting Malzino. What the f- What? And then said, hey, we're also bringing back Gormagala. Final Fantasy came out and said, hey, we're bringing the PSP game to current gen this winter. And we're bringing out Rebirth, which is Final Fantasy Remake Part 2 next winter. So be sure to buy a PS5 then. And we'll probably release the third game for PS6 so we can make 
Hadouken! Name right at the bang bang, Zaryja Blaka, my baby model.